Okay, hey YouTube. So I wanted to make a, a quick uh, video of uh, of my champion uh, generator that I bought a couple of years ago um, for uh, mainly for uh, hurricanes. Um, we live over here in the Central Florida area, and um, hurricanes are pretty much uh, you know a fact of life, especially during hurricane season. So. Um, one year we got caught uh, here without power for about four days, which means um, no air conditioning, and it was uh, extremely painful. So the next year I promised myself that uh, we would never go through that again. So I, um, you know, I did some research, and um, after looking at uh, generators upon generators, and I finally decided on my um, on my champion generator. So. I'm gonna flip my camera around really quick. Okay, so this is my champion generator. It's an 11.5 kW generator that um, I actually made a little dolly for it so I can wheel it around a lot easier because this thing weighs a ton by itself. It came with wheels, but it didn't work for me. Um, simply because I'm a, um, I'm a paraplegic, I'm in a wheelchair. So it was, uh, you know, it was hard, um, uh, way too hard for me to push it around like it was. So as you can see, like I said, it's made by Champion uh, Power Equipment. It's an 11.5 kW. And as you can see, it's got this weird little attachment that I put on it myself right after I bought it. So this is basically um, what they call a tri-fuel kit, which means my generator will run on, of course, gasoline, liquid propane, or natural gas. So basically there's the regulator, and then the regulator goes down Now again, bear with me because I'm in a wheelchair, so I've got to push myself around. So the hose goes into here, and then I don't know if you can see the carburetor or not, but that hose goes to the carburetor, and that's how it's able to run with this tri-fuel kit that I bought on it. Or that I bought for it, sorry. So, once a month, I exercise the generator for 30 minutes by getting it all ready here. Now, of course, in case if you're wondering, I'm inside my shed. Um, I think it's a 20 by 20 by 12, but this is what I did. When we got the shed, I ran my own power underground via conduit. And then this is tied into my main breaker. These are the, the cables that I use. The one with the big yellow handle, that's the actual cable that I'm gonna to attach to there on one end. And then I'm going to attach it to the 50 amp outlet on the generator. And of course the other hose there is for the, is for the propane, which is fed by this 100 gallon propane tank. So I'm going to pause the video right here. I'm going to hook everything up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the propane turned on at the valve at the tank. So now I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera. Remember, I'm in a wheelchair, so it's a little bit hard for me to do this, but I think I should be able to do it. So first I've gotta, I've gotta prime the regulator. There's a little button behind it here. You can see with my hand, I'm pushing it about four times. Now, once I start this, of course, you're not going to be able to hear me, but I'm going to start it up.
Okay, so now I'm in the house, and as you can see, if you don't know what this is, this is what they call an interlock. So basically, you're supposed to use one of these if you want to be able to hook up your generator to your main breaker panel legally. Keyword here is being legally. So pretty much what that means is with this interlock, this is my, my breaker to my generator, which as you can see is off. Of course the main power is still on this will not let these two this and this open at the same time because if it did technically i could back feed the power from my generator to the outside power lines which could obviously hurt someone if they're out there working on the lines so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn off the main breaker this is going to flip down watch see now, I'm gonna turn on my, my generator. So now, I'm running on generator power. I'll let this run for about 30 minutes, and then I'll be right back.